Hey friends, today we will discuss the topic on incremental data load. The reason behind the incremental data load is to move only required data alone to be passed on the target system from the source system. Mm, basically, this is aligned to the day-to-day -day operation done by the business uh, with regards to the only the, the changes they are making. It's not that everything um, bundled together and passing to the target system every time. So when I say everything means like assuming there's some hundred records there in a table, uh, the first time you are loading the changes, but when next uh, next day uh, only the new records uh, uh, or change record only we are going to consider and pumping back to the target system from the source system. That is only we are terming here as delta data. So for this activity, the mapping implementation, how we are going to handle it is this is how. So I'm going to do it like source qualifier i'm going to consider emp table same as like 14 records and the transformation what we are going to apply today is like store procedure transformation as unconnected this is helps to find a maximum higher date from the target table so for example the first go there is no data at all so it will result with one on 1900 so that time when we check it in uh, source table it will pull all the 14 records when next iteration comes in the maximum date already loaded in the target it will find the maximum higher date that higher date will be compared in emp table and corresponding the delta records only will be filtered and it will be passed to, to the target emp table that is the idea behind it okay so the expression transformation help you to uh, <clears throat> take the in, uh, incoming uh, incoming attributes from the source and addition to that we are going to create a variable and output port we are going to see that when i'm implementing and finally based on the output port uh, so we are going to filter higher date okay so uh, and also the there will be a uh, there will be on mapping variable we are going to assign it as well okay to set max variable sorry e underscore max higher date okay and the target system will be loaded finally okay and uh, this is going to oh, this mapping whatever we are creating we are going to create it as a session so in each session the first session will be delta load and the subsequent session will, uh, sorry first session will be full load and the second session will be a delta load uh, based on the higher date we are going to filter it okay let us jump into a sql developer uh, so this is the sql developer if you go back here and this is the store procedure i have created to uh, so basically this is the uh, will result output maximum date from the target table okay so now this is empty so because of which like you will see one on 1900 but once the first iteration as i told uh, it will be uh, pulling the maximum date okay so let's see here if you see this is the anonymous block i've created to just simply test the store block if you see here okay so this is the result you can understand see so since there is no records uh, in the target table you will see one on 1900 okay So one on 1900 you see that okay so now if you go back and see in select from emp table you'll see 14 records and whereas if you go to t underscore emp it will be empty okay so now if you go back let's try to create a mapping from this one so as i told so source will be Oracle source and we'll select the evil we'll select uh, 
okay so this is selected then the next thing is we have to declare the store procedure transformation that is this uh, SQL transformation will will define it as unconnected one so we'll define the store procedure here so the procedure what I have created right so this get max ID you can select this one and set the property as unconnected store procedure okay so we are good and there, 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 there is no input argument so input field will be empty and output argument is p max state so as you can see here this is the p max state you are resulting it that is going to return a uh, result so that's it from this side now let's go back and create expression transformation because we are creating expression transformation why because since it's unconnected uh, SQL uh, sorry SQL transformation that is holding the sort procedure we are going to call it in the expression transformation okay now in expression transformation incoming fields are already coming from source qualifier now as I told we are going to create a variable field here the variable field we higher date so this is we are creating to assign so before to that let us create a parameter okay this is important okay v underscore max higher date okay and this is going to be a date time and the aggregation type is maximum you set it now this once it is done so this parameter we are going to make you sit here so before to that let us go to built-in function and go all the way to special and select maximum variable so this special function going to help us to uh, determine the maximum higher rate every iteration okay that is the idea now the first argument need to be the parameter variable okay higher rate what we de de defined and the second argument this is something which it's uh, it's going to we are going to get the maximum higher rate from the store proc that is unconnected store proc okay uh, so now since uh, you already know that it's unconnected store prop so this will result okay we have to give it okay we have to give a comma here so the expression is valid because this is a standard syntax you have to follow when it is unconnected so now we are assigning set max variable with so what will happen here is so it will return uh, 1900 in the initial iteration it will pass that uh, date into max higher date okay uh, so now this higher date we are going to assign it to output port with ho higher date okay so now simply we can call the variable and validate so now now the next interesting thing is we are going to introduce the filter transformation so in this filter transformation basically what we are trying to achieve is to determine the delta we are going to filter it select advanced filter condition and define the filter condition now you just make use of this higher date greater than o higher date as i told you before v higher date is going to get the maximum uh, set max variable uh, it's getting the two parameter one is like uh, parameter variable the other one is sp uh, uh, stored procedure uh, sp get max higher date it's going to return the maximum higher date first iteration first iteration it's going to be one on 1900 so that will be compared in this condition basically which means in the first iteration it will be uh, pulling all the 14 records because there is no records in the target t underscore emp let us validate this condition now we are good to pass this output filtered output into target okay now let's go back to the target and define the target here okay. 
So once it is defined now what you can do is like field mapping you can do auto field map it's not okay now this whole higher grade we don't need it so just for comparison we got it okay that's it so now we are uh, So let us try uh, let us try to create a task now or oh, let us not because uh, we are going to try multiple session so let us create a task now so okay so sm underscore pmpr and select the uh, mapping okay and select the environment also now so see here okay now variable and I'm, I'm not going to schedule it i'm going to create uh, as is okay now the task is the session is ready to run let us try to run the first iteration Okay, first iteration is running in records. Okay, now you can see initial value set to 1900. If you if you see the target table, the record must have loaded. See here. So the target records have been loaded. Okay. Now let us try to introduce one more record in the target table. Sorry, source table. Okay, I'm going to introduce one. Okay, and I'm going to introduce underscore sorry trunk. So For testing purpose, I'm creating one own uh, record. So now the date is going to be six date. I'm giving six date. Okay. So for example, employee nine nine uh, is joining on on Jan 9, 2023. Uh, okay. So for testing purpose, I'm doing because currently the max date, if you see higher date, what it is loaded from t underscore emp. is the 23 may 1987 so now the second iteration what it will do whatever the records uh, the employees who joined later than 23 may 1987 it will try to pull it so uh, to test it quickly so we can check that query as well emp so let's ins insert this record before to that okay insert into emp now one new record is added now if you try to fire a query to identify the delta information uh, okay so higher date greater than the max higher date of the target okay you will find the new record correct see so basically it is trying to check 23 may 1987 greater than records okay so obviously one jan first jan is 2023 is greater than right that is the reason it's picking the this only record now let us try to run this this next iteration we should see only one record uh, retrieved and uh, uh, loaded into the target table let us try to rerun this okay so 
so now you see 14 records have been already loaded in the first iteration now the next iteration we are running it is in queue see only one record have been loaded if you go back and see the session 14 records have been pulled from the source but the criteria matched it see as i told 23 may 1987 greater than records only it is pulling it is set into the maximum iit okay so you can again double check that in the target table the recent records have been loaded correctly or not t underscore emp see the latest records also have been loaded successfully only only record only pulled it that's what we expected as, as part of incremental data load thank you friends for watching my video please subscribe my channel